Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time! And let's play Final Fantasy IX! Now, since last time, I've rearranged my setup as I have listed in the video description. Most importantly, I have Auto Reflect on everyone. Now, remember all those candles and bloodstones and everything we did in the last episode? Well, this is the trap that, they, that the Black Mages were talking about. When you activate all the candles and all that stuff, all of these defense, magic, whatever enhancements, they're all gone. So it makes this boss fight, well, supposedly a lot easier. I don't know. It seems pretty easy to me to begin with, but I've never fought it without uh, having all that other stuff going. So there we are. But anyway, the reason I want re auto-reflect on everyone is because, well, it makes the boss fight a lot easier. This guy will cast, well, spells that are reflectable on you. Now, if you have the water spell, he also has Reflect on himself, so that doesn't help. But anyway, if you have, well, the Enkai armlet, that teaches the water spell. Cast it on your entire party, you know, everyone, not just one person. Holy cow, look at that damage! Max damage! Basically, whenever you cast a spell on your entire party there, it'll recast it on the enemy four times. And it's just amazing! And auto reflect protects you from what is this guy's name? Valia Pira, whatever his name is. It reflects it back to him. So there you go. Wow, that makes this boss fight pretty easy. Oh, I thought you couldn't self terminate. Oh, no, I'm thinking of another movie. But anyway, yay! We killed uh, Tombstone, I guess. What do you want on your Tombstone, Kuja? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, all right, we got him. Hooray! Go, Vivi! Why aren't you dancing, Vivi? You gotta be dancing around. So, I don't know. Oh, we learned some new abilities. Yay! Okay, now, one thing I do want to do uh, before lighting that candle again. Let's, uh... Let's see, let's remove all of our accessories. Hey, get back to your accessories. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I want to remove? Uh, nothing that's critical, I don't think. Well, maybe... Yeah, let's just remove everything. Why not? Whatever. I'm not going to be doing anything more at this party. Whatever. I'll worry about it later. Let's just light that candle. Ah, and it reveals this teleporter. Okay, let's go, uh, crash Kuja's, par Kuja's party. Panty raid! No. No. Kuja... I hope he doesn't have panties. Okay, well, anyway, uh, now that I'm back to this party, I'll equip some accessories, whatever. And uh, I'll just meet you back on the other side, because it's exactly the same as before. Just walk back. Okay, we made it back to the other side easily enough. Uh, again, make sure to strip every one of their equipment before teleporting. Not that it's a big deal at this point, but... Oh! Hmm. We didn't teleport to Kuja's room. I guess we took... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. What does he want Zidane to deliver it for? What does he take such an interest in Zidane for? Oh, whatever. Okay, well, I'll just leave my friend behind. No, just stay cool, guys. Gods, leave us. Hey, okay, how's it going? Yeah, we can talk to them. Trust no one. Just like the X-Files. I like the X-Files. That was nice back in the day. Exercise care, Zidane! Exercise care. Oh yeah, if you try to step on that other teleporter, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. So, there we go. Well, I'm sure not, I'm sure everything's okay. What could possibly go wrong? He's still got the fireplace going. Well, at least he's welcoming us with open arms pretty easily. Well, of course. Well, what did you want to do? Sit down and drink some goddamn tea? No. No. Oh, yeah. He does kind of have that cage in there. Wouldn't that be kind of noisy? Oh, no! He caught them already? Nuts. Or caught them again? Crap. Well, okay. I guess we have no choice. What does he want with that thing, anyway? Uh, I'm... I don't know. Huh? What's going on? Hey, hey! They're okay, but... 
that double crosser! Well, I guess. Well, I mean, at least our friends are alive. Actually, I was the hero. Why, you little! I love it when uh, Steiner just shakes his fist like that. <laughs> he doesn't do that as much as he used to, so. Oh, well. You take what you can get. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. What the? What's going on? Uh, game? Uh oh. Not these bozos again. Crap. So much for that idea. Just give him the stone. You rebel scum! No, I'm not gonna give you my stones. Oh, hey, yeah, just uh, right behind me. Alright, it's time for the final showdown against Kuja. We've got him trapped now! Huh? Oh, yeah, he kinda has Ico. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Who's saying that? That text box isn't pointing to everyone. Huh. Oh, that must be the uh, Zorn and Thorn there, I guess. Well, there we go. I suppose they wouldn't know what happened to him. Crap. That didn't work so well. Did he just take that right out of my pants? Did that just come out your crack, man? Get back here! We're not through with you yet! Or, okay, I guess we are now. Nice. Well, we can't use that. Let's hurry back to the airship dock. By the way, you could, um, well, first things first. Let's see, I want to bring Freya. Let's see, definitely Dagger. And probably Amaranth. Yeah, yeah, Amaranth, okay. But if you go over here, now that we can roam around freely, we can get the Naming Way card. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, oh, by the way. Uh, yeah, they took Ico. They're gone. But if you go over here... Let's see. You, you can now go up here and go back to where you fought Valia Priya. Or Pura. However you pronounce it. Whatever. But let's go back to the airship dock. I'll just walk back to the docking area off screen again, just like I did before. Uh, maybe I should show you what I'm going to equip, though. Let's see. Protect Ring on Zidane. Dagger. Let's see. I still want her working on what she had before. Freya on the Rebirth Ring. Amaranth on the Reflect Ring, which is what I had him on before, too. Oh, I thought I was going to do something else with him. Well, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just be back on the other side then. Okay, we made it back to the dock, but where's the airship? He's gone. Nuts. Well, I guess he got away. Nothing we can do. What do you mean? Follow him in an airship? Or follow his airship with a ship? How do I get out of here? I barely know how I got in here. With a secret ladder. Yeah, there's a switch right there that lowers the ladder. I don't know how you're supposed to see that. That really blended into the background. Took me a while to figure out. Just like that one pipe in uh, Final Fantasy VII. You know the one, viewers. I'm still not over it, and it's been 13 years. Oh, wow. Well. well, it looks like he's going to get away. Oh, well. But, yeah, I mean, this is one reason why I brought the ship to Kuja's palace. because, or, Well, the desert palace, because it makes a little more sense with the plot here. Because you could take the ocean chocobo to get over there, but then this part... Well, it would still happen like this, but it wouldn't quite make sense, you know? So I figured, yeah, let's just uh, do it the nice way. Well, at least we're uh, catching up with him. I don't know how we're pulling that one off. I mean, just the fact that we are in water and he is in the air should mean that he's going faster than we are. But anyway, he's heading to the Lost Continent, which is where Estogaza was and all the snow and everything. But, well, that's all I... I already did everything that I could do there, pretty much, but let's see what's changed around there since last time. Huh. I wonder what he's going over, do, or doing over there. Come to think of it, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing there. I mean, don't say anything in the video, in the comment section yet, viewers, but I have no idea what Kuja is doing there. Seriously, I don't, even after playing this game so many times. So, she can summon I don't. Don't, don't you have to be 16 for that? Or something like that. She's not legal. 
We're not into that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll be we'll be okay, Dagger. We'll we'll take care of him. But anyway, at this point, now we can uh, rearrange our party. So uh, I'll just tell you right now, VV is mandatory, or if not now, he will be soon enough. Uh, I want to bring Dagger along because she has a lot of uh, accessories to work on, like boost and some summon, more summons eventually. She's still got stuff to learn there. Kina has some blue magic to learn, so I'm gonna take a moment to rearrange my setup. Uh, don't worry about what it is, just equip whatever. We're gonna get new stuff soon enough anyway. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, yeah, like I said, don't worry about what you've got equipped. Well, let's see what's going on over here, back at Estogaza. I like this place. Kinda creepy music here. Huh, where did everyone go? Well, be careful outside here because you can meet up with Garudas now, like in the town outside of this building here. So you gotta be careful with that, but not too much to worry about. I mean, we can, Zidane can one-shot them. <laughs> and Vivi can still trip over his face, absolutely. What do you mean, beggars? We're trying to save the world, dude. Pinty hits? Well, I guess they were around here, huh? Yeah, where did they go? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, we did kind of uh, run into you earlier. Well, there you go. No, no, we want to kill them. We'll, uh, uh, what is it? Smite them for their, uh, you know, bad manners. Or whatever the word is. Except for the bad guys. Other than them, all life is equal. Absolutely. What path of souls? I don't care about them. I just want to save the girl. Oh. Hmm. That's weird. So what happened? Whoa. I guess there were a lot of them. Huh. Just, I thought it was just like a tiny little village. But I guess he might ha still have some black mages left over. Mount Gullock, huh? Yeah, it's Final Fantasy 1 reference. Huh. Moles used to live in there, huh? Hmm, I wonder how it was sealed. Well, evidently they found a way in. So. Now, okay, I'll just tell you. It's not a spoiler, but uh, I thought my interpretation is I'm guessing that they needed the Golag Stone in order to break the seal to get in there. Because if you walked up there, the door would have been locked or something like that. They never say that, though. You know? So, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But that would be my guess. And even so, I don't know what what Kuja's doing here anyway. Well, we'll learn more about that later. But first things first, there is something I forgot. Yeah, I could have picked this up earlier. A wing edge. Yeah. You find that, and you can do whatever. There's some other things that I want to do off screen. Like I want to uh, go check out the, uh, the Q's marshes again to pick up, or well, to catch some more frogs. Get back in the weapon shop so I can actually do some shopping over there. We can't go shopping at save points. Well, actually we can sometimes. Not usually though. But anyway, we do actually have to be in the shop in order to go shopping. So, but yeah, I want to catch some more frogs, deliver that Koopo nut, and buy some new stuff. So let's get a Flame Saber, Heavy Lance, Scissor Fangs. Yeah, lots of great, new great stuff here since last time we were here. Uh, Shura's Rod, Hamlin. Yeah, big spoiler. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, Octagon Rod, a couple Venetia Shields. I'm going to put all this in the video description if you guys uh, don't care. We're going to find, or if you guys do care. Uh, let's see. We'll find a red hat soon enough. And if you haven't already, buy 20 vaccines now for next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.